Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching HTML tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about basic HTML tags. So let's get started. All right, I have opened brackets and I will go ahead and create a new file and I will name it basic tags.html and we'll write the basic HTML so we have the doc type HTML, opening and closing HTML tag, opening and closing head tag, and inside this we have the title tag. We'll set the title to basic tags, and we have the opening and closing body tag. Now let us open the live preview. We'll begin our journey by first creating heading tags. Now in HTML, there are six different types of heading tags. H1, H2, H3, till H6. And in most of the cases, you will need H1, H2 and H3. So let's create the heading tags. So the first example is H1. So we'll write heading h1 similarly you can create h2 tags this is like a heading having second priority so h1 having the highest priority then h2 and if you want you can also create h3 tags heading h3 and similarly h4 tags h5 tags and h6 tags and if you look at the output you can see h1 tag has a bigger font and h6 heading tag is of smaller font the heading tags are block elements that is they take up the entire width and they have a new line before and after them so if you consider h1 tag you can see it takes up the entire width similarly h2 tag h3 tag 4 5 and 6 the next tag that we are going to talk about is the paragraph tag and as the name suggests, it is used to create paragraphs. So to create a paragraph tag, we use the P character. And we can write this is a sample paragraph. A paragraph tag is also a block element. So if we create a new paragraph, this is the second para. You can see it takes a new line and occupies the entire width. Similarly, we can create another paragraph and write some random text like so. And you can see this new paragraph is taking the entire width. And since it's a block element, so it is starting from a new line. The next tag is used to create horizontal line and it is called the HR tag. So let's say we have two paragraphs and we want to create a horizontal line between the two. We'll use the HR tag. Let me go ahead and copy this. So let's say we have two paragraphs. This is a sample paragraph and we have another paragraph. This is the second para and we want a horizontal line. So we'll create the HR tag. And you can see we have a horizontal line. 
between the two paragraphs. The next tag is the line break tag or the BR tag. It is used to make any content after the BR tag start from a new line. So for example, let's say we create a paragraph. This is a sample para paragraph. So you can see we have the output. This is a sample paragraph. Now, if we move this paragraph word to the next line, we can see we still have the same output. And this paragraph word is still at the same line. Now, in order to move this paragraph word to the next line, we use the BR tag because in HTML, even if you add multiple white spaces, HTML will still count them as one space. So in order to make this paragraph word appear at the next line, we use the BR tag. And now you can see the word paragraph starts at the next line. The next tag that we are going to talk about is called the code tag. It is used to display code in our web page. So let's say we want to display a JavaScript code in our web page. So we'll write code and inside this we can write, let's say console.log Hello world. So you can see we have this output console.log hello world. And similarly, we can also show another code. And let's say this time we are going to write say var name equal to Yusuf Shakil. So you can see the code tag is not a block element. So the next code that we have written var name equal to Yusuf Shakil, it starts right after the first code. So in order to bring the second code element, that is the opening code tag, the content and the closing code tag, after this first code element we'll use the br tag now you can see the first line of code and the second line of code are now in a separate line the next tag is the pre tag or preformatted tag it is used to preserve the formatting of the document. Now, as I mentioned earlier, even if we create multiple spaces between two words or we give multiple new line between two words, HTML will still consider them as one character. For example, if we create a paragraph and we write this, you can see the output, this, is a sample sample paragraph so we have written this is a sample paragraph in three lines but you can see the output is in a single line so in order to preserve the formatting we use the pre tag. So let me go ahead and create a pre tag. And this time if we write this is a sample paragraph. Now we can see the output 
is in three separate lines and this sample word is having multiple white spaces before it. This is because the pre tag is preserving this white spaces in the output. So in order to make this sample word, this one, start from the very beginning of the line, we have to remove the white spaces before it. Similarly, for the word paragraph. Now if you look at the output, we can see this is a sample paragraph, the output in three lines and each starting from the very left without any white spaces before the words. And if you look at the last line, you can see we have an empty line. This is because the word paragraph ends at the third line, but before the closing pre tag, we have this fourth line, which consists of white spaces. So in order to remove this fourth line, we have to remove this white spaces. The next tag that I want to talk about is the anchor tag or the A tag. It is used to create hyperlinks in the website. So for example, if you want to create a link to DY classroom from this basic tags.html file, we can write dyclassroom.com and we can give this anchor tag an attribute href and then we can set the href value to https www.dyclassroom.com so you can see we have this link or the anchor tag and it is pointing at DUI Classroom website. So if we click on this, it will take us to the DUI Classroom website. And now let us talk about the image tag or the IMG tag. So in order to show image, we use the image tag. So in this example, let me go ahead and create an image tag. And this image tag takes an attribute src and the value of src attribute is equal to the path of the image file. In this case, I'm going to set the src value to dy classroom logo. So I'll paste the link of dy classroom image. And now if you see the output, you can see the logo of dy classroom website. Now an interesting thing that we can do with an anchor tag and image tag is to create a clickable image, a hyperlink image. That is an image which will take us to some other website or another page when clicked. Now if you look at this image tag, it is just a simple image and nothing happens when we click on it. Now in order to create a hyperlink image, all we have to do is create an anchor tag and inside the anchor, we create an image tag. And we set the href of the anchor tag to the URL where we want to redirect. In this case, dyclassroom.com. And we set the image src to the image we want to use in this case the logo of dy classroom so now you can see we have an image tag inside an anchor tag so this image is now clickable it is now a hyperlink image and when we click on it it will take us to dyclassroom.com like so. Alright guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you will find this video interesting. And if you do, please give this video a like. And please subscribe my channel because I make new videos every week. And guys, I'll put the important links 
in the description. The notes of this tutorial is on my website dyclassroom.com. The link will be in the description. And the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. The link is in the description, so please check them out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.